Okay, in this one, we are going to take a look at how we can upload a file where we have add person test, right? So there it requires us to upload resumes as well. So let's take a look at it, how we can actually do this. Okay, if we take a look at our add person test, let's see what it tries to do. It logs in and it fills out these fields and then we click on save. Okay, we want to upload a photo right here, but here in most cases the file inputs are hidden if we do this we may not be able to get it as you can see there's nothing these are all buttons and etc what i want to do is scroll down and click here and inspect generally file uploads are implemented with hidden file inputs if i hit ctrl f right here we can either search it but let me actually show you a better way to do it so right here we have i will click on here so as you can see we see change button right here here and right here we have an input and type is file so this means this thing right here is this file input is the one that lets users pick file what i would like to do i want to get this thing type file and i want to create a css selector for this guy which is file as you can see there's only one right here the first one is something else so i'll go back to my code before clicking on add person i want to get here Sigh, get and we want to put our selector here and there is a command on cypress built in which is select file it lets you do html5 drag and drop file upload or you can also select the file from the dialog which we will be using selecting a file from file upload so let's go back to our code right here and let's say select file and here it expects us some files give it a file i already have an images folder under cypress and there's image.png so what we have to do we'll just say cypress slash images slash image.png i can actually hold command and click on select file to see what what it is actually requiring so what cypress actually requiring from me first files the reference of the file and then there's actually there's another thing which is optional with the question mark we can also click on select file options right here and we can see that we can pass different things here okay select file option extends logable timeout and actionable options so in the actionable items if we go inside actionable options are forcible what does that mean if we go here it actually extends a force attribute so let's take a look at it again actually so select file requires select file option if we go in here this option so is actually an object that is here that is that is from here as you can see it says select file options if you go back here select file options extends logable timeout and actionable options i don't see anywhere here something for hidden elements which our input file was hidden generally that's how it is implemented in any web applications so for this i want to see what it is what is inside actionable options and here i see that there is wait for animations there is animation distance so we can pass these variables in in the options right here but that will not do anything for us because we want to do something that is forces this element forces this action to be executed even though it is not interactable which is hidden so that's what this force means we can also see the same thing in the documentation so if I get here and I type hidden, as you can see, Cypress already documented this. If you have a hidden input in many cases in modern applications, this is how it is actually done. That's why we want to use force. I just want to show you how and where this force comes from. It's always a good idea to check how it is done so you can learn more, even though you don't have maybe internet or something like that. But this actually tells you how it actually works. So in this case, we will find this input file and then we are going to upload this image and then we will make sure force, even though it's hidden, just try to push it. And then we will, this is how it, we are going to test. So if I hit save and open my Cypress, we will type our first name, last name, etc. And then we will make sure we force file upload. So this is how it is done. We can always use something like this in any cases. If it is also drag and drop, instead of passing file input, you should pass the drop zone selector. 
so that's about it so we learned how we can upload a file on a modern web application which is in a hidden input most of the time and in the next one we are going to see some more complex scenarios so stay tuned have a good one